Well, we're not going to let flip season stop what's running when it comes to this Sooner train as OU gives another offer out to another edge, 6'5", Taylor Ween out of Tennessee. Let's talk about this prospect. All that coming up in about 10 seconds. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, talking OU football, college football, and sports in general. In this video, we're going to talk about the Sooners targeting three-star edge, Taylor Ween, out of Nolansville, Tennessee. They just gave him an offer today. He's actually picking up a lot of offers. So we're going to dive into him, watch a little film, and talk about what's going on. But first, you know the drill. Hop in these comments. Let me know what you think about this prospect after you watch some of the film in the next few minutes. Take some time to look at it. I understand it's been flip season. We're starting to lose. We lost a couple of recruits. Understood. Everybody's kind of panicking, but OU is still going to keep that train going. And I'll explain why it's critical to just keep going, keep pushing, and making the magic happen. But jump in the comments. Let me know what you think about this prospect when you see him. Also, while you're here, hit the like button. That helps content creators like myself. I keep saying it over and over, but... We're trying to grow, and I love having you all here for the ride. Also, subscribe and then hit the notification bell. That way you can get the notifications of all the constant content we're putting out on recruits as well as OU and college football analysis. And so from there, the last thing you got to do is you all know the drill. Hop in the description below. Show this young man some love on his socials and show him why the Sooners are the best fans in the country. Say hi. Congratulate him. Whatever you want to do, but jump into socials. I got his Twitter down there. We definitely want to show this young man some love. So, Taylor Ween, let's go into the, the ratings measurables, and then we're going to watch some film on them, all right? We'll get right there to that moment. But thank you all, of course, for tuning in. So, first and foremost, consensus-wise, he has no rating around all the, the boards as far as a consensus calculated for all of them. But 24-7, it's early on him. Got him at three stars right now, like an 86 rating. Remember, on three was early on P.J. Adebayo, and he ended up being a five-star later. Of course, we're excited because he's a freakish athlete, but Taylor, I think, is going to be something special, too. 6'5", consensus at about 245. 24-7 has him listed at 6'6", but it's neither here nor there. 6'5", 6'6", big defensive end on the edge, and he's got some speed on him. He looks strong. He looks fast. That swim move is ridiculous. Um... I think that there's something here, especially bringing him in after losing Colton Vasek. You know, Vasek looks like he's going to be something special long term. You won't hear me say anything bad about the kid. Super excited. He's going to stay home. I wish he was coming here. You never know. He may flip. I don't know. Not saying he will, not saying he won't. But my point is, happy for him. I'm also excited about this prospect when I saw the film. Brandon Drum from 24-7 had posted his information about this player a few days ago and said, hey, keep an eye out. The Sooners are targeting him. And boom, we gave him an offer today. Even better, after we gave him an offer, USC gave him an offer as well. So we got two offers from Oklahoma and uh, USC. And then since the beginning of October, he's starting to rise. He's a rising star in the ratings. And so... With that, let's jump into some film, right? Now watch him. He's breaking off the edge, pushing deep, pushing left tackles. Ooh, goodness. Ah, that was a hit. Led to a fumble and a run. I like his ability of getting around those tackles. Look at that. Look at that. Quick, quick hands, and he's leveling the quarterback. That's something that you want out of an edge, someone that can get that leverage and go. Maybe playing small town football, but that doesn't mean he can't be special. Remember, Aaron Donald was a three star recruit out at um Pittsburgh. And uh, Kenneth Murray was a three-star linebacker. He's an edge linebacker. Imagine him running out. Oh, and he's already got the size. If he's about 235, 245 as he's listed, they're going to put probably 20 pounds of muscle on him over the next two years. And he's going to be a beast. Look at that. Look at that drive. Look at that power. Look at that push. The ability to get past those linemen so quickly, that's going to be key and critical to what we're trying to do at Oklahoma, especially on a three-man uh, down, he's going to be that fourth guy. He be that quote unquote cheetah, um, or he's just that that linebacker. They may run a three four setup. He's a line. He's going to just be instead of being down on uh, down on three, he'll be standing up and outside and just go. Now watch him chase down a running back. Look at this. You can tell he's a big man. He ain't super fast, but he chased him down and got help with the trip. You can't. Hey, you can't coach that man. You can't coach that kind of effort. And so. 
I'm ecstatic about him. So watching this film, it tells me that he's a potential chance for a diamond in a rough, someone that you could put the pounds on and teach the technique because he's already got to drive and work hard to him. Everything about him shows me that he wants to be out there. He wants to win. And as I mentioned, he got offers today from OU as well as USC. So there's a chance that uh, we may be in a potential dog fight. But right now he is crystal ball to Oklahoma. I'm just going to say we got a crystal ball from Brandon Drum based upon conversations he's had. And so taking a gander at him, now that we're going through this film, jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. What you think about Taylor Ween? Do you think that um, you would like to see him in some Christmas cream? Do you think that he is actually a three star rating? Or do you think it's a matter of circumstance because, you know, he didn't hit up all the, the camps and stuff. At, at the same token, he's 6'6". And this is what something Brandon Drum said as well, that if he was actually in like a bigger market like Georgia or even a larger city in Tennessee, he'd probably be a four closer to, he'd probably be at least a four star, if not higher. So I don't know about y'all. I'm excited about that. I love seeing prospects like that. Do me a favor, hop in the comments, give me your thoughts. Love hearing from you all. I'll, of course, I jump in there and comment as well as, Make sure you go show Taylor some love. Hit up that Twitter account. If you got one, hit him up. Tell him congrats. Welcome him to Oklahoma, and hopefully he will go ahead and pick us and call it a day. Thanks a bunch for tuning in here to Unfair Sports. We'll have more content later this week. We'll preview the West Virginia game this weekend and talk about some more recruits. I got a whole bunch of offers that's gone out in the last few days from JUCO players as well as defensive and offensive players. I'm excited. I hope you are. Hit the like button as well as subscribe, letting YouTube know that this is the right type of content for you and everybody else like you. And with that, we will chop it up. I don't know, in a few days. Peace.